It's been quite a few years since Godmaster, the final Hollow Knight content update, was released, and since then, Team Cherry have been busy working on Silksong. Shut but they're not the only ones that have been busy. This is Pale Court, a fan-made Hollow Knight DLC that aims to provide a similar experience to something like the Grim Troop update or the Hidden Dreams update. This mod is themed around the five great knights of Hollow Nest, and it's got new boss fights, new charms, new music, new art, etc, etc. And let me tell you, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> the bosses, which are the main focus on the mod, are super well done, and they're actually really difficult as well. I'd say most of them are about on the same level, if not harder, than the hardest Hollow Knight bosses. But what was the coolest to me is how well done the art style and music is. It feels so true to the game. The devs of Pale Court were super, super kind and gave me early access to the mod, and I was blown away. So, a bit of a different video today, but here is my entire playthrough of Hollow Knight Pale Court. If you want to play the mod yourself, it's obviously free on Scarab, and I'll leave install instructions in the description. Also, keep in mind, especially with the dialogue, some of the stuff in this video has, like, placeholder dialogue still, uh, because I got the mod, like, one or two weeks early, so... Let's do it! Alright! As you can see, the Pale Court mod is installed, and there is a fifth little icon down here along with the patch number. It really does kind of set this sort of expectation that this is going to be akin to something like Hidden Dreams or uh, the Groom Troop. I'm so excited to check this out. And once again, the developers have been so kind to give me early access to this mod. So yeah, that being said, we're going to jump into Hollow Knight. Pale Court, the fan-made content DLC. I am just so excited. The important thing with this mod is that it all seems to take place after the game, so it's like a post-game type thing. So I'm just gonna go into the, the save file that I used for my first playthrough. And we're in, all right. I don't really know a lot about this mod, but what I know, what I saw from the release trailer, was that it all kind of revolves around Shio's hut, I suppose. That's like kind of the place we need to head over to, to begin. And obviously, since this mod revolves around the um, five great knights of Hallownest, we might have to check out some of their locations of death. And as you can see, there's four more charm slots, which is interesting, and I'm assuming each one of the four Knights of Hallowness that we haven't encountered, you know, obviously because we fight White Defender in the main game, are gonna drop a charm, which is really awesome. So I think we're just gonna head out. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So we're just gonna head down to Shio's hut, I suppose, and we're gonna, we're gonna see what we'll find. I don't really know anything. That's the cool thing. That's what makes me so excited. All right. This is just... Default dialogue. Okay. So what if I... What if I equip the Fender's Crest? Salubra, so not now. <laughs> Maybe this will remind you of Ogrim? Oh? Wait, no, this is, this is normal, right? Hold on. We're building a full suite of the Kingdom's Knights. In their time, I barely ever paid them attention, but Shio keenly remembers each. Building these models takes practice and a light touch. It's worth it though, seeing the grand old knights of Hallownest come to life before our eyes. Mighty Hagemol was always my favorite. What a towering figure he was, though surprisingly soft-spoken for one so large. They were all impressive in their own right, of course. Fierce Dryya, kindly Isma, mysterious Zamir, and, uh, the other one. Okay, so he's talking about them. Which is interesting. What if I need to bring them a flower? <laughs> that might be it, actually. I'm not sure. We're gonna we're gonna check out over there at resting grounds. It's all a bit of a mystery, isn't it? I think it's really exciting because we really just get to experience that whole little treasure hunt, that little blind playthrough. At this point, it's been multiple years since I do anything like that in Hollow Knight. I first played this game in 2020, and uh, it's been a while since 2020, hasn't it? <laughs> so this is a bit nostalgic for me, even though I have never encountered this. Do you see what I see here? Do you see the dream essence on the blade? Because I see the dream essence on the blade. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <gasps> wow! There's new music too. I'm gonna raise the volume. Wow. So this is fan-made. Look at this! 
<laughs> it's so pretty. You see the gate? I think it's gonna be a boss fight. Holy shit. Okay. Alright. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh god. Holy shit. She doesn't mess around. Alright. Uh, it's D-Dark spam time. I'm gonna have to learn her patterns. This is- oh shit, this is gonna be hard. This is the Dark Souls of Hollow Knight mods. I'm gonna die. Okay. So she's got that attack. I'm gonna need to learn her tele- oh shit. She's got a big sword! I'm so dead. <laughs> okay. That is, uh, wow. First of all, wow. We're gonna... <laughs> First of all, that is very cool. That is very, very cool. I'm gonna rethink my nail build. I don't think I'll need Quick Slash. I might just go Grub Song Long Nail. I do really like the kind of lore exploration. Obviously, that, uh, that little mantis that is running away, that is her lover. Um, the daughter of, um, the traitor lord, right? Her grave is where you deliver the flower, obviously, with the flower quest. Oh, it's so pretty, though. Let's do it. Mysterious Zamir. I forgot I don't have quick slash equipped. I don't- I don't know how aerial I want to be in this fight. This does seem, on, like, a lot harder to, um, to telegraph than- Alright. I'm getting the hang of it. Does she ever stagger? Okay, so there, I just want to dash under. Cool. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I learned a new Hollow Knight boss, so to say. You know, I've been- I've been kinda doing the same ones for a while now. Do you have Gmail dialogue? You do! Melayed love. I- I agree. <laughs> See, the interesting thing is she doesn't take knockback. I think that's what kinda put- is putting me off right now. Okay. So with that, I still want to dash under. Holy shit. She's powerful. Okay. This is... <laughs> I'm taking a bit of a beating here. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, a little bit embarrassed right now. Okay, so the dive counter on that one is pretty good. She does these kind of delays, though, which is really interesting. Um, oh, she really doesn't mess around, does she? Okay, so that's the dash. There you go. I recognize that. I dodged that somehow. <laughs> okay, so after the spin, she does a strike. Okay. I'm playing a lot more cautious this time. So if she does the full spin, yeah, then she does a... Um, interesting. It seems she has some kind of dynamic attacks, depending on how... Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. Her attacks, like the way she finishes them out of each other, depends on what you do in the attack. Or she has like a bunch of different variations that she can do. Where she cues them up really quickly one after another. And that's just really awesome. We don't really have that in Hollow Knight. Uh, well, there she goes. And I got an achievement too. That was awesome. That was a really cool fight. Ogrim. For a wilting domain is your restless duty. Why persisting so? Whoa. Okay. Received the vessel's lament. Wow. Wow. Okay. Contains the hardships and grievances force upon the chained vessel. Energy desperately seeps out from within the constraints. When focusing soul, unleash a devastating blast of energy. What? We're gonna have to try this. <laughs> so if I'm healing... Okay, that's dope. <laughs> that's very cool. So I suppose it's like an upgraded uh, spore shroom then. That's really awesome. I wonder how good it is. I'm gonna go try it down here on an enemy. It doesn't seem to be all that powerful, considering how much health these enemies have. But it is certainly interesting. 
I'm just gonna go into the boss arena again just to really show you the the landscape and stuff look at that it does kind of look just straight out of the white palace right it's so well done that was really awesome though I still can't believe this is real <laughs> all right so that was the mirror which one do we want to do next how about we go with uh, with Hegemol? Is it the armor down here? Okay, this one doesn't seem to be dream nailable. And it's not here. Interesting. Where would Hegemol be? We can start with one of the other ones, though. Uh, I guess let's go to Isma's Grove, then. I am going to switch off this charm, though. I think I'm going to stick with this build. All right, kind Isma. And it is dream nailable. Oh, here we go. Another White Palace-like arena. Understandably so, given that they are the Pale King's closest guard. The White Palace atmosphere is so good in this game. And you can see the, the greens cutting through. Hello! Oh, there's Ogrim in the background! Hi, Isma! Holy Benito. shit! <laughs> Yo! What the hell? This is so cool! Oh my god. Okay, so you can kill the um, the plant stuff. This is a creative boss fight. See, the issue is I need to be hitting her as well. Okay, so her attacks are a little bit more... readable. Oh, this is so awesome, though. I don't know if the audio balancing is crazy here, but I, I just want to be able to hear the music. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm face tanking a little. This is my first try though. I need to keep getting- oh, I can just fireball them, I suppose. Okay, so the interesting thing is that seems to be spawning these things when she throws the ball. Oh, this is a cool fight. I vibe with this. I think this is awesome. Okay, so you can attack her actual... Um... Oh, the music. Alright, I'm dead. I didn't first try it. That was really cool, though. I think this one is my favorite so far. I've only fought two of them, though. <laughs> Oh, look how true to the game this is. The person who did the art for this mod did a great job of, yeah, like, really capturing Ari Gibson's Hollow Knight art style. So it seems like I can actually attack her, um, her little Ivy Whip, right? But I don't know if that does damage to her, or if it's just having the color indication. But I do think I'll shriek that attack. That's a new one! Hello! Okay, so I think I'm, I'm kind of entering a new phase here. Okay, that's definitely the way to go about that. This is cool, though, this whole teleporting uh, around the screen, though. And the animations are so cool for this fight, too. Creative idea, too. Whoops. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay! <laughs> that's so cool! Holy shit, did you see that? Oh, she's doing more. There's a wall! <laughs> oh my god! That's badass! <laughs> Yo! This fight goes hard. Okay. Hello, Isma. Sorry. So it's interesting, they all bow at the start. And you can kind of like. <laughs> you can kind of disrespect them. Yeah, that's the play. Okay, so, I don't know, it does seem like the Ivy Whip getting pogoed is... Oh, here we go! So, as you can see, you can kind of see where they're gonna go. Oh, that's so dope! It's interesting how she closes off the entire arena like that. Oh! <laughs> wow! That's so cool! Watch out. Oh, I'm about to die. Alright. 
So it seems as gradually as the fight gets closer to finishing, she closes off the arena from the sides. That's so cool. I wonder what charm she's gonna drop. I'm assuming it's gonna be something like you eat a little plant thing. Maybe a minion charm, actually. Oh, here we go. The plant things on the ceiling are... <laughs> Hello, I'm in a very awkward spot right now. Okay, so as soon as she does that, I kind of need to... Oh, they stay. Okay, they stay no matter what. I can't kill the things at the top. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, so I just need to position. Yeah. Bait it out and then move. So it's interesting because hitting her whip doesn't give me soul, but it does seem to damage her. Okay. This time I'm gonna dream nail her. Ogrim, oh, there's no time. That's sad. I wonder how she died, actually. That's something we never really get to know in uh, Hollow Knight lore. Oh, we're getting closer. Shrieking seems to be doing a- oh, here we go. So it just kind of goes back and forth on where- oh, she's doing it more! <laughs> there it is! Oh, there she goes! <laughs> wow, that was great. That was such a cool fight. Drya, despite your stoic demeanor, this loyalty to our queen, it was genuine care, was it not? The lore deepens. Receive the king's honor. It's an upgrade to Defender's Crest? What is this? It is! <laughs> Unique charm bestowed by the king to his most loyal knight, refurbished and restored to its ultimate state. Surrounds the bearer in a royal aura. Yo! <laughs> we can smell like royal shit now, as opposed to regular shit. That's awesome! <laughs> See, it's interesting because there's four boss fights, right? Because Ogrim's already in the game. So I'm wondering if we actually get a charm from fighting White Defender, or if we get a charm for doing all of the four new ones. We're gonna try this though. Bye, Grip Song. <laughs> interesting. So I guess next would be Drya, because I went to uh, Crossroads and Hegemol didn't seem to be there. I'm assuming he might be at the White Palace, or I might have to locate Macebug. <laughs> One of those two. That's pretty strong, isn't it? Oh, it spreads! Wait, did you see that? No, I think what happens is, yeah, they get inflicted and then they keep taking damage. That's interesting. That's really useful. All right, here we go. Fierce Drya. Here she is. Wow. Oh, it's the Queen's Gardens theme. But royal. Oh, this is cool. This place is pretty. You ready? Here we go. Fierce Drya. Wow, okay. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! There she is! Hi, Drya! Okay. So she's very fast-paced. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that was sick. It was a bit hard to see due to the background. Look at that! Look at those little spikes she summons. That's dope. I'm gonna die here. Look at those slashes. Oh! <laughs> It reminds me, for those that have played Terraria, it reminds me of the uh, Empress of Light. Holy shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa. That was so cool. <laughs> so you can really tell you're not going to get much of a chance to heal on these fights. I'm going to have a tough time trying to dream nail her. The music goes hard, though. The music... For this mod was done by Gothier, by the way, the person who does all the uh, fan-made Silk Song themes. I'm just kind of face tanking right now. I wanna. Oh, that's so dope! I wanna actually like kind of start to learn her patterns. That is so cool. Those little slashes she summons. And they've all got a whole little teleport thing going on. 
Oh, that's cool. She's just doing her little... There she goes! <laughs> Relentless. That was sick. That was very, very cool. Hegemol, do you still stand guard? Forever loyal to the capital citizens? So it seems I've been accidentally doing them in the correct order, too. Received the Mark of Purity. Is that a quick slash buff? <laughs> the Mark of Purity. The vessel was gifted a pure nail forged through arcane means as a reflection of itself. This charm embodies the echoes of that ancient forgotten craftsmanship. Gradually increases the bear's rate of attack as they land nail strikes in quick succession. <laughs> what? That's so sick. What are we gonna test this on? Actually, I know. I know what we're gonna test it on. I'm actually gonna keep this for Hegemol. I think it's a pretty cool charm. Alright, the final knight. It's not here though. Oh, you know what it might be actually? It could be the City Crest statue. Was I right? I was! Hey, look at me and my lore knowledge. So my guess for this is it's gonna be failed champion, but even more beefed up. <laughs> Whoa! Was that a tram? Oh! <laughs> oh, the trams are just hanging around. Oh, this music is very pretty, too. Whee! <laughs> So this seems to be signaling kind of like the peak of Hellenist as a civilization. Yeah, look at that. It's the City of Tears. Oh, look at this. Wow. Wow. <gasps> You've got the, the poor maggots being like... It's like, oh, thriving civilization. And then you have the poor maggots in the background, like, being forced to carry stuff. Oh, the music. Oh, I don't think I'm ready to go in. We're gonna enjoy this for a minute. Wow. Okay. There he is! <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> He's a big boy! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! He's a big boy! Alright. It- Okay. Does he deal double damage too? I haven't noticed. I think he does, yeah. Oh, he staggered! Dream Nail! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I think I have a slightly not good charm build for this. I'm gonna stick with it though. Because I wanna try the uh, the quick slash charm. Dream Nail! The city accepts no intruders. You got a big dash, boy. Oh god. Okay. I'm gonna get my ass kicked by this guy. Okay, so there's a lot going on, <laughs> first of all. However, because he's so big, I think this one is a bit easier to telegraph. Let's do it. I'm gonna hit you. Boom. Okay, so he does a little jump back. It's kind of like when the Watcher Knights roll into a wall. I think D-Dark's gonna be my friend here, because I don't think this is gonna be very doable otherwise. Spam D-Dark for the win. <laughs> oh, he's staggered. Why am I not hitting him? Baby rage tantrum! Holy shit! <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay, he's a fast boy. You know what's gonna be really interesting is trying to speedrun this mod too. Oh, I forgot he does that at the start. And he yeets his hammer. Okay, and then he punches. <laughs> he's so funny. I think this guy was voiced by Mossbag too. Because Mossbag's in the voice credits. <laughs> Is the quick slash charm working? I can't tell. All I know is I'm getting my ass kicked. So he seems to be punishing staying in the air as well, because there's these rocks that keep falling. Good shrieks. <laughs> oh, he does get double hits. Interesting. Okay, so he does... 
<laughs> I like how he just charges against the wall. <laughs> so if I just get the hang of those shrieks, I think I'll be good. Okay, now we're doing stuff. Now we're doing stuff. I'm gonna heal next stagger. Go! <laughs> I got one off. That's something. This is actually kind of easier than <laughs> regular failed champion. Holy shit! Okay, he's got new attacks. That's so badass! Did you see that? <laughs> he just like picks them up and then dunks them like he's playing volleyball. I'm actually doing a good job. I'm face tanking a little bit right now. Stay away from the projectiles. Whoa! I haven't seen that before. Okay. So he's got some attacks. Alright. He's got some new attacks. Okay, so the nail speed does speed up a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> Watch out. And now we jump. Yeah, if I if I were speed running this, I could probably get some good damage in there. Oh, he's got some cool attacks. He's charging up. <laughs> this is so sick. <laughs> That's so awesome. There he goes. <laughs> wow. Wow. As I said, I've been given an early build. <laughs> He probably has some cool, dramatic lore dialogue though, I'm sure. I guess that's something for you to find out when you play this. Received the Boon of Hallownest. Four notches, the Boon of Hallownest. The Pale Worm's Beacon shines brightly through this charm. The blessings and power bestowed upon the land known as Hallownest was able to elevate the lesser bugs that resided in it in the domain. Transforms all spells, causing them to take on a purified form. We have better shaman stone? <laughs> Hold on. Where's the fifth charm from? That's really interesting, because there's one more. What if I have regular and boon of Hallownest at the same time? How OP is this going to be? Oh. <laughs> is that better? I mean, if the damage is really good, I could see it. What about the other ones? Okay, that's cool. All right, interesting. So they take on completely different properties. Okay, but what if... <laughs> hear me out here. I have Flukeness. Doesn't do anything, okay. I'm gonna go do White Defender too, because I, I think that might be where the last thing is. Is this any different? Oh, the cool thing is going into this arena and realizing that it looks just as great as... <laughs> The ones that are modded and fan-made. Isn't that just really awesome? Okay, is this busted or is this busted? Oh, look at that continued damage. Interesting. See, I could also just lay out some spikes on the ground like this. Cool. So that doesn't do anything. I'm gonna head back to Shio and see if he has anything to say. Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> that's so cool! They made little figurines! Oh, that's adorable! <laughs> oh, he's making a statue of Shio! You're so right, Shio. The bread may be moldy now. By now, however. Insanely <laughs> game <moment>. <laughs> <laughs> I love this mod! <laughs> Fucking hilarious, dude. Happy Pride Month to these two. Is this placeholder dialogue? <laughs> I sculpt. <laughs> I think it might be placeholder dialogue. <laughs> okay, alright, okay. <laughs> the fifth charm, though. Where would this come from? I'm guessing I'm just gonna have to go head to the White Palace. That's the only place I can think of that would be connected to the, um, the Five Great Knights of Hallownest, you know? It's gotta be in the White Palace. I think if it's anywhere, it's gonna be in the throne room. Alright, let's do some speedrun climbing here. 
Can you do Shriek Pogo with this? I don't think you can, actually. You can't do Shriek Pogo with uh, the cool new charm. Okay, could this be where the last charm is? What? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Enter credits and reward room. The one and only reward room NPC placeholder. <laughs> Hollow Knight, Pale Quartz. Wow. Directed by Mebi, Zaliant, Zale, and who knows. Oh, the music! Programming by Sully, who knows, River Robot, Red Frog, SF Grenade, Django 102, The Great Gallus, 56, and Link 459. Art and animation by Mebi, Shaktis, and Kitsuma Media. Music and sound by Zaliant, Folding Papers, Gothier, and Carson Composes. Wow. Okay. Voice actors, Sovereign Elise, Rotten Legacy, Mossbag, and Sarart. I knew Mossbag was in this. I think he was Hegemol. Writing by Yossi Bach, Chaktis, Folding Papers, and who knows. Playtesters are here, as you can see. Additional playtesters, Spoonsei, General Milky, Azeron, Pan, Dwarfut, Shai. Okay, there's a lot of names. <laughs> I can't read this all. Oh, there's a lot of my friends here that I recognize. Oh, that was really awesome. And there's the individual boss credits too. And this music. Wow. Oh, wow. Chills. Chills. Okay. This was awesome! Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, there you go, it was Mossback. <laughs> I was right. Special thanks to Team Cherry, Hollow Knight modding community, Hollow Knight Discord, Necromancer and Curly, Risto the Chicken, and Hellenist Vocalized. And you for playing this mod. Wow. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who waited all these years for Pale Court. It certainly wasn't easy, but we got it done. And we did it before Silk Song too. Thank you for the laughs, the encouragement, the hype, and everything else that motivated us to keep going, even when the end seemed so, so far away. It's been an honor. Whoa! It's the Pale Court music! Oh, this is my favorite Hollow Knight soundtrack. The one that's in the Gods and Nightmares OST? Alright, so I'm assuming there's gonna be this final charm in this room once the mod comes out. But for now, I guess it's a mystery. Whoa! Oh, that's really awesome! You can challenge them all from here. They've got their little... God home. Answer the champion's call. Yo, post-game content? Oh, there's a little statue of Shy. That's really cool. That's a great way to honor them. So who's the champion? Cool. Wait, this is like a different room. Is this a subsection of the white- of the- um, of God Home? Yeah, look at the background. This is God Home, right? That's cool that you get to challenge them all in one place. So that was the Pale Court mod. That was just absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed. It's been well worth the wait. I just think it's so awesome that we can have full-on content DLCs on the scale of something that Team Cherry would uh, release made by fans. I don't know, I'm blown away. And thank you so much again to the Pale Court team for giving me early access to this mod because I'm actually away when it comes out. And they were they were kind enough to take pity on me and allow me to play it early. Uh, I'm very, very thankful. I'm just, I'm very blown away by this. And obviously you can download the mod for yourself. I'm gonna leave the links to that in the description. It's obviously free, it's through Scarab, so as any other mods. And there's probably some place you can support the Pale Court team too, monetarily, if you want to. In which case, I will leave a link to that too. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and that has been me. This was the Hollow Knight Pale Court mod.